Good morning, everyone. I'm Jan Carabeo with your morning digital news brief for Saturday, November 20th. Two people are dead today, including a child after a violent crash in Olney. This is the damage left behind on Roosevelt Boulevard and Whitaker Avenue. Just after midnight, police tell us a truck with five people inside hit several poles and went airborne. It crashed into several cars and a steel signpost 15 feet in the air. The three people in the truck who survived the wreck are in the hospital now with serious injuries. The drivers of the other cars have minor injuries. Talk about turning the tables here. Police say a man shot two people trying to rob him in Mayfair. An Uber driver told officers he had just gotten out of his car on Longshore Avenue near, near Sackett Street when three men walked up to him, all with guns drawn. They tried to rob him, but police say he pulled out a gun he legally owns and shot at least two of them. The third man ran away. And they're off. We are kicking off Marathon Weekend in Philadelphia. First up this morning is the Half Marathon. More than 21,000 athletes are running in person today and tomorrow. So do expect the city to be busy. And heads up, there are a lot of road closures out there today and tomorrow, especially in Center City, Philadelphia. Mm. Now to the eyewitness of the forecast with meteorologist <laughs> Tammy Sousa. Better bundle up. You got a lot of detours to go oh around. Oh my gosh, yeah. We were talking about how to get yeah. from work and, and leave Center City. Uh, you know what? We are are looking at another cold day out there for today. It'll be in the 40s, but it's not going to feel as raw as yesterday. Yesterday, that wind chill was in the 30s. Not going to happen today because the winds are not as gusty. We'll be in the 50s by tomorrow, which is where we should be back to, but we do get rain tomorrow night. And the payoff is a very nice Thanksgiving. It looks dry and seasonal in the 50s with plenty of sunshine. So here's where we're going to be going today. By about 11 o'clock this morning, we should be into the 40s. We're going to top out in the upper 40s across the area. We'll see some 50s down the shore, though and it'll be chilly, 39 at Mount Pocono. Clouds will increase this afternoon. If you're out and about tonight, it'll be mostly cloudy through the evening hours. We're looking at 44 degrees at 830 tonight. Then we head through the overnight hours, and we wake up tomorrow morning a little bit milder. Low 40s across much of the area tomorrow, and that's because we'll have that cloud cover keeping us warmer, and we'll see those winds turn to the south, and they'll take us up to 55 tomorrow. We do have rain in the offing. So here we are at 230 in the afternoon. I don't think the rain starts until perhaps the evening hours, and that's going to start in the Lehigh Valley. Poconos make its way uh, toward the city. Now, we could see a spotty shower prior to that, but I think the real rain and the gustier winds come in overnight. So here, here we are at 1 o'clock in the morning, just making it through the I-95 corridor, still down the shore at 8 o'clock Monday morning with spotty showers to follow, and then the winds are going to turn more to the north and the west. So your best rain chances after we get through uh, tomorrow are going to be tomorrow night and Monday. And then look at the rest of the week. It's pretty much non-existent, including Thanksgiving. Speaking of, if you're going to be out and about traveling, here we go. We're going to start off Tuesday very cold. It'll be raw, extremely windy. That may be the worst of the travel days, aside from the rain on Monday. Here we are on Wednesday, 1 o'clock. It looks like there's a little system coming through Chicago, but that really shouldn't affect the flights there. We move ahead Thursday. There is a system coming out of Tennessee Valley. That doesn't affect us. And it looks like perhaps by the time we get into Thanksgiving and even the day after, we're just going to deal with some snow squalls coming off the big lakes. Some of that may reach the Poconos, but that's about it. So for today, we're looking at 49 degrees, morning sunshine, afternoon clouds, and the winds, they'll be out of the northwest to about 15 miles an hour. Mostly cloudy tonight, but not as cold. It'll be 41 for your overnight low. Then we're looking for 57 tomorrow. It'll be cloudy for the birds game, but the rain does not move in until tomorrow night. 53 with some showers on Monday. 42 raw, windy, cold. Just a nasty feeling day on Tuesday, but we clear out Wednesday for a beautiful Thanksgiving to follow on Thursday. Sure is. Okay, Tammy, thanks so much. And remember, you can always get the latest news and weather headlines right here on CBSPhilly.com. I'm Jan Carabeo. Have a great day.